<laughs> good answer, good answer. Well, you know what? It's very, very deserving because it's such a fun exhibit. There's the flights. I mean, you have all these displays, and they're in little nooks and crannies around many of the exhibits around the Biopark, and, of course, right out in the open as well. So it's, it's really fun if you haven't checked that out. Snowy travel northern and northeastern parts of the state over the next couple of days. Rain and snow showers likely and drying out over the weekend. So we've got a lot of changes to walk you through. You notice that there's not much going on, but as low-pressure system drops in, it's going to throw up that moisture. And we'll have some slick and dicey travel in these areas that are under winter storm warnings. Raton, Las Vegas, Clayton, on into the northern mountains. Great for the ski areas, uh, but four to ten inches will be very likely in some of these areas, with more across the mountains, of course, and winter weather advisories for two, three to five inches. Taos, the East Mountains, on into Klein's Corners. Now, uh, we will have a couple of rain showers around in the morning again in the afternoon, but we're looking for the brunt of the activity to kick in tomorrow evening and continue into the overnight right on into Thursday morning. Morning. So we'll show you the timing on all of that coming up. Okay, 7 o'clock in the morning. Don't be surprised. We have some uh, showers developing in the area, Albuquerque, Santa Fe. And notice how this wave moves to the north. And by the noon hour into the afternoon, we're looking at that winter storm warning in play throughout northeastern parts of New Mexico, especially Raton into Las Vegas. And at 5 o'clock, it looks like there's not much going on in Santa Fe or Albuquerque. But look, as we get into the evening, into around the overnight hours, 1 o'clock in the morning, this is where the rain and snow becomes more likely and as we advance it on into Thursday morning for the morning commute we're looking at some rain and snow mixes Albuquerque Santa Fe and slick and dicey travel northeastern parts of the state and the northern mountains along with that uh, winter storm warning that'll be in play as we get to the afternoon uh, conditions will start to dry out a little bit western portions and slow to exit eastern sections of New Mexico now how much snow could fall over the next couple of days we're not we're really looking for a whole lot of Albuquerque and Santa Fe but look 8 to 12 inches is possible Possible. All along that stretch from Raton into Las Vegas, more across the ski area. So, yeah, that's where we're concerned about the big travel hazards that could be working in. And rain wise, we could get some drenching rains with a half inch to almost nine tenths of an inch of rain, eastern parts of the state. And we're looking for good soaking rains from Albuquerque to Santa Fe as well. So, we desperately need that. So, it will be late in the day into the evening hours when those showers increase in the Farmington area and then end as we get into Thursday morning. Southwestern parts of New Mexico. It's going to be dry for a while, but the rain showers increasing during the afternoon and evening and then ending as we go into Thursday. 60 and truth consequences tomorrow. But the weekend looks pretty good in this region with the daytime highs back on the moderating trend. We'll see 40s and 50s southeastern parts of New Mexico. Probably some rain showers tomorrow night around Alamogordo. And then we'll see uh, off and on rain just working into the area for Wednesday and Thursday in Roswell, bringing some drenching conditions for a time. Northeastern parts of the state. As we get into the late morning, early afternoon, we're looking for that snow to accumulate from Raton into Las Vegas, intensify Wednesday night into Thursday, and that's why we have those big travel concerns across the area. We're looking for 44 tomorrow over in Espanola. There'll be some rain showers around during the daytime, but really Wednesday night into Thursday, that's where the rain and snow mixes will be more prevalent. It dries out for the weekend, and the metro area will start off mostly cloudy. A couple of rain showers around as we get into the afternoon. Uh, those Showers look more likely at night on into the overnight. Some wet travel as we start the day for your Thursday morning and drying out a bit as we get into the afternoon. Chilly Friday, Saturday, and then above normal daytime highs for Sunday, Monday on into Tuesday. So wet weather building in, especially tomorrow night and overnight, Shelly.